people helping the family he leaves behind. Our Madeline O'Neill has more from Lake Mills. We love it here. You can find a lot of heart in this Lake Mills community. Everybody pitches in and helps out when there's an unfortunate situation like this. And in a small town. I run into people I know all the time here. <laughs> you'll spot a grocery store. How are you today? At the center of it all. Do, do, do. Five fifty nine. Here at the Lake Mills Market, it's about more than picking up groceries. It's about having the chance to give back. You want to donate for Captain Chris? Yeah, I'll do 10. Do 10? Hearing about Fire Captain Chris Truman's death after being hit by a car on the Beltline New Year's Eve made Lake Mills residents hearts drop. Oh, how terribly tragic and awful. Hard to imagine the pain they're feeling. Truman was a common face in this store. We get to know a lot of people. And across the community. I think at first um, I was shocked. Less shocking was the knowledge Truman died trying to help a woman who crashed her car. And I don't think anybody would be surprised at that. He wanted to help everybody, so I think that's another reason people are stepping up. Stepping up by donating to a fundraiser for Truman's loved ones at the end of their shopping trips. Five, you want to donate for Captain Chris? Yeah, five. For the majority of shoppers. I mean, it's an easy sell. Without hesitation, it's a yes. Good 80%, 90%. In just a day and a half, store owner Mitch Eveland says they've raised more than three thousand dollars. Have a great day, ma'am. Something that also doesn't surprise him. No, our community is pretty tight knit. Or really anyone else in the city. No, not at all here. Not really. This community is pretty giving. That doesn't shock me at all. Small communities like this hold together when tragedies happen. It's that strength of heart. Compassion and love that's shown by the people in Lake Mills. The community knows we'll keep going. Oh, in a few weeks, when all of this goes away, I think Lake Mills is a type of town that's going to stick with the family long term. In Lake Mills. I think it'll go on and on. Madeline O'Neill, WISC News 3. The Lake Mills Market plans to keep the fundraiser going for at least a couple more weeks. The money will go through the Lake Mills Fire Department to Amber Turfel, Truman's fiance and family. The Lake Mills Culverts is also holding a fundraiser on Tuesday. Another mild day ahead.